Next Day UFC Welterweight Division matchup. This is the first time in his UFC career he has worked his way to the main card. He has strung together some wins, looking at the rankings, and this guy appears like he belongs. A lot more eyeballs on him tonight. The audience is bigger. His popularity has grown leaps and bounds. We'll see if he can handle that pressure and perform the way he has that led to this main card slot here tonight. DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You watch the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 14 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting they introduced me, why did they say 14? No, why did they say 12 and like 112 left in my last 12 fights? This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Gilbert Durinho Barnes! What's up? And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You see a lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Try to establish that jab. Elbow to the head in the clinch. Nice work there by Burns. Oh, he gets the takedown. That could be big. Burns has got full mount now. This 
ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Fuck off me, dude. You're so annoying. God, why do you like being on top of men? You're weird. You're gay. 45 seconds. Dude, get the, the fuck round. off me. What is your problem? Dude, oh 30 my shit. seconds out of going round such one. A fat ass, dude. Get the fuck off me. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Back to the God, look at Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up. had me on the ground for like two minutes. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a holding, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands... Transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Beautiful Dude, can movement. You get the fuck work off on the me? ground here, just outstanding. It's literally, all you can do is not sit staying on in one place on the ground. That's very important. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally. Fuck off, oh, dude. You're so, like, gay. A sigh of relief of the people fuck watching me. because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over. Get up, again. whore! He finally gets it. Now, what does he do with the top two? Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit left. So Bro, let me get up. Put it all together idiot. on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. Dude, can you get away from me? Elbow landed there by Burns. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh my god, dude, this kid is so weird. A nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but oh, now dude, it's not so, so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent for Terry Fatty. Oh, he might be out. Now he's on top of him. That, that is it. it. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So... Just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win.
official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliano is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 32 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by Knockout Monster. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. division matchup. He is one of the most popular fighters on this roster, top to bottom. The former UFC welterweight champion, ruthless Robbie Lawler, made the UFC debut, how about May 10th, 2002, at UFC 37 against Aaron Rodgers. And right away, you had his coaches saying, this kid's gonna be a future UFC champion. He had all the ability, he had the wrestling chops, he had the striking, but he also had that meanness and that toughness that you look for in a fighter. And when he got back to the UFC after the strike force, the knockout of Josh Koscheck, and then the head kick of Bobby Volker, you knew you were looking at a different Robbie Law. His fight against Rory McDonald, UFC 189, July of 2015, one of the best most memorable fights in UFC history. Lawler looking to add to his appreciable legacy here tonight. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man, but as he's developed, 15 he's in developed a 15 great fights yeah. in a row by KO. Why is he getting 12? Skills, and also the beautiful right high I'm kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right oh, no, hand. Oh no, no, High kick comes over the Wait, top. Wait, what? And he can yes. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I'm literally. Okay, I'm 15 and 0 with 15. Or tail of the tape and for this oh, welterweight goal. fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC of weight division. Introducing first, fighting, and out of the blue corner, a kickboxer, holy professional record of 31 wins, 15 losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Ruthless Robbie Lawler! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, no losses. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Monster! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. When the challenges get stiffer, will his game raise up to that next level? Throughout his career, when the challenges have gotten tougher, he has raised his game. That is exactly the goal in front of him tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting the beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab on Get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the ball. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. That is... Oh, man, this dude is good. Lands a nice one, too. Oh, oh. DC, he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. Why should the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit. Wow. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling oh! can really be entertaining. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. This is such a crazy fight. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Now goes in and secures the takedown. In a very right close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round, DC. We'll show you the replay. He nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? Turning defense to offense here, blocks the strike and then counters with a straight hand. Nice job by Lawler. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the setup punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Big head kick. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, so Rufus Robbie Lawler, one of the best to ever do it, former UFC welterweight champion. And if you got extra points for Mean Mugging, this guy would lead the league, man. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Gets up again here, but fantastic takedown. Perfect execution as he gets the single leg takedown. Oh, a huge block there. Nice 
body kick right under the elbow. And both guys really throwing with authority. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 38 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by Knockout Monster. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by now. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined. I gotta do it. 